out of back pain and back into active living with my follow along back injury recovery workouts. When you've been medically cleared for back rehab exercises, my back injury recovery exercise series can be a great benefit to you post back injury. This video is level two of a three part series. If you haven't done so already, make sure you've mastered level one before progressing to this routine. Each video builds on back health fundamentals so that you develop a foundation of fitness to recover from your back injury and to move into more activities. I recommend using this video two to four times a week and keeping these exercises in your repertoire to stay pain free. Make sure you also check out level three after mastering this video and my other low impact workouts to stay active. No equipment is needed for this routine. Are you ready to get started? Meet me in your exercise space and let's do it. This back injury recovery workout only takes 10 minutes and it's the perfect routine to keep in your exercise schedule to keep you and your back healthy and happy. When you're ready to get started, we'll begin in 15 seconds. Meet me in a tabletop position. Our first exercise is a bird dog hold. So what you'll do is extend your right arm and your left leg out, squeeze your abs in, engage your butt, and then lift your arm and leg off the floor and hold. Push your body away from the floor and engage all of your muscles, especially your core. And your core is everything that attaches your upper body to your lower body. So that includes your glutes, your low back, your abdominals, your obliques. There's a lot of muscles in your core. So as you hold this bird dog, keep breathing, engage everything, and think about extending long using every muscle in your body system. Your body's pretty amazing. Keep breathing. And relax. Lucky for you, you have two sides to do. So next exercise is a bird dog hold side two. So extend your right leg and your left arm, pull your abs in and up, and then from here we extend and reach arm and leg off the floor. Now chances are you'll figure out which side is easier for you. And our human bodies are not perfectly balanced. We have dominant sides from right to left. But doing exercises like a bird dog can help you start to understand what's stronger and what might need a little more attention and love. Keep that reach. Can you get longer? Pull your abs in tight, squeeze your butt muscle. Whew. You're doing great. I'm so happy that you're here, taking good care of yourself and your back for a long life. Stay with it. Relax. All right, we're moving into a modified plank. So I'll have you lie down onto your belly, bring your forearms on the mat, Roll your shoulders down and back and curl your heels towards your glutes. From here, lift your thighs away from the floor and squeeze your belly button to the back of your spine and your butt in. Now this is a modified plank. If you're like Caroline, this is just way too easy for me. I am so ready for the next level. You would tuck your toes and lift your knees off the mat. But again, this is level two and we still have level three to do. So if you're not quite ready for the full plank, stick with the knees on the mat version, embrace it, and just connect to your core muscles because a stronger core will help your back feel so much better. Good, nice long neck, don't sink into your shoulders. Lift up. Nice job. All right, lay all the way down onto your belly and extend your arms and your legs. We're going for a slow swim. So pull your abs in and push your pubis bone down into the mat. Lift up and away from the floor and we'll alternate right arm, left leg up, lower it down, left arm, right leg, lower. Now as you lift the arm and the leg, you wanna think about your glutes squeezing, your hips working to lift the thigh off the ground. And I want you to get longer. So instead of thinking about going up, think about reaching out. Keep breathing. Woo! 
This one can be a very sneaky, but very effective core strengthening exercise. I love a slow swim. Relax. All right, meet me on your side. We're going to bend our knees on the mat, bringing our heels towards our glutes and press our forearm down through the floor. From here, you can take your hand to your hip or at your side. We'll move into a modified side plank. So here we go. Lift those hips off the ground, lift up and out of that bottom shoulder, reach your top arm up, keep your hand at your hip or do jazz hands for me just for fun and good energy. The side plank helps us train not only our obliques, but also our hips. Oh yeah. And shoulder stability bonus. Good job. I love a good side plank. And remember, you can always take it to a full side plank by extending your legs and lifting your knee off the ground, but we still have level three. So you gotta, you gotta take it one level at a time, master this, and then we'll move on. Oh yes. The side plank is tough. Lay on your side. So lay all the way down, bring your knees up into your chest. We'll move into a clamshell on this side. So you're going to keep the feet together. And we'll lift that top knee up and then lower it back down. Now, often with clients, I encourage them to place their hands on their bottom to make sure that their clam is coming from their glutes and not from their hip flexor. So you might have to go a little slower and really be intentional with where you're moving from so that you get the benefit from the time you're spending here. Hey, and if you're enjoying this routine, do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button because it really does help the channel and this work grow to help more people get out of back pain. Good work. Ooh, this clamshell. <laughs> Relax. All right, let's move to side two. So you can take your legs around. We're moving into our modified side plank. So forearm is on the mat, knees are stacked, abs are up, lifting away from the mat, and we come up into our modified side plank for 45 seconds. So hold it up, squeeze everything, reach that top arm up to the side, or you know it. <laughs> it always helps to generate positive energy during your workouts especially when you're trying to get out of pain, keep that energy lifted, keep it up because your body is amazing. And with a little bit of movement medicine, it can come back from really hard things. Don't ever forget that. And I'm here to help you with it. So don't worry. We're in it together. Team effort, less pain, happier back. I know 45 seconds is long. Relax on your side, clamshell side two. So we stack our knees and our feet. You can lay on down, rest your head, hand on your glute for a little bit more support. And when you're ready, we're gonna lift that top knee up and down. One side is probably stronger than the other side. Again, totally normal. But it's all about connecting to your muscles. Really thinking about how you can help them get stronger to support your structure and your life. Take it as slow as you need to, to get the benefit from this clamshell. Good job, my friend. Whew. I feel this clam. <laughs> Open and close. All right, onto your back. Nice job. So we're onto our back. We're moving into toe taps. You'll lay down on the floor, lift your legs into tabletop and squeeze your abs. Hands down by your sides, shoulders open. And all we'll do from here is touch the toe down to the floor and back up. And you want to think about letting your hip drop down. So not coming from your hip, coming from your low abs, but just letting your hips relax as you let the leg be the weight that the abs are lifting. These little ab muscles, 
they really help your back feel better. All right. Relax. Feet flat, last exercise for today. So pull your abs in, find a posterior pelvic tuck, slowly roll up to a bridge, find yourself there, and we're just gonna hold for 45 seconds. So we're doing an isometric bridge hold. I want you to tuck your pelvis under, pulling your abs in as tight as you possibly can. Feel a stretch through the front of your thighs, feel your glutes and your hamstrings and your abs turn on. We want those muscles to be healthy and strong for us. Keep breathing. Tell yourself that you could do hard things and that every day is a new day to move out of pain. Whew, my butt is on fire. Thank you very much, isometric bridge hold. <laughs> I'm feeling good now. Oh, yes. All right, slowly lower down, knees to one side, roll up. And you, my friend, have just completed back injury recovery exercises level two. I'm your certified health and fitness coach, Caroline Jordan, and I'm so grateful that you joined me today for a little bit of movement medicine. Remember, if you like this routine, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider supporting this channel and this work of sharing movement as medicine with the world by becoming a Patreon. Patreons are those that donate a small amount every month to help me create more content just like this. So join us today at patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness. Good work, my friend. I hope you and your back love this routine and I can't wait to see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.